The baby boomer generation is without a doubt the wealthiest in the past 100 years, following the bloodiest conflict in human history. The following generation made the decision to cease fighting and begin constructing. The baby boomers are the generation that constructed the foundation upon which we are constructing everything. According to a 2015 assessment, this generation has built substantial financial fortune and currently controls almost 70% of their elderly's disposable income. They are now anticipated to pass on $30 trillion in riches to the following generation. It could appear that they will simply preach to their children without thinking. But that is not how it works. In theory, they would. But in practice, a starting 70% of wealthy families see their fortune disappear by the second generation and often just 10% of the money is left behind for the third generation. By the third generation, wealth had been lost by almost 90%. Think about the Rockefellers as an illustration. But before we continue, if you are interested in improving your financial knowledge to get the life you want, make sure to subscribe to our channel and activate the bell notification for more entertaining animation videos. As of 2017, John Rockefeller had acquired a fortune worth more than $400 billion, making him the richest American to have ever lived. When his company Standard Oil was divided up into different companies, each of them turned out to be considerably more valuable separately. However, according to Forbes, as of 2020, the family's wealth was only $8.4 billion, or just 2.1% of the original $400 billion. If you're wondering where all that money went, it came from the family's ownership of oil and gas firms like Chevron, ExxonMobil, or BP. Making cell phones now was as revolutionary as oil refinement was a century ago. But in the 21st century, oil is seen as a resource that is sabotaging our world. Therefore, governments all over the world are setting deadlines by which they will permanently outlaw gasoline-powered vehicles which has significantly reduced the value of these corporations and the wealth of its stockholders. This takes us to the guideline number one. Never let your wealth sleep. The environment is continually evolving. In the past, we had corded phones. Today, we have tiny devices that we refer to as smartphones. Your entire money will be lost if you place the incorrect wager. Such instances can be found throughout history. Just look at the stockholders of Nokia, for instance. Previously, Nokia was the only brand of phone that people were using, but one error put the business in danger of failing. The company's current value is less than 10% of its peak. That is how you lose 90% of your fortune in less than 20 years. In the past, the Rothschilds built the largest financial system in the world transferring wealth from one continent to another and assisting kings and queens in managing their wealth and raising funds for future conquests throughout Europe and beyond. The family's net worth, however, is only a small portion of the immense wealth they were formerly known for, due to global geopolitical shifts and the appearance of newcomers. Additionally, the technology that will rule the planet in 10 years will change. If you want to create wealth that will last generations, you should always be aware of how the world is evolving and invest in businesses that are leading that transformation. Number 2. Never touch the principle. The main issue with the wealth is this. It may be challenging to accumulate wealth, but maintaining it is even more challenging, especially if you're accustomed to a certain standard of living. In fact, it's one of the leading causes of financial ruin for most people. Due to the fact that while your salary isn't guaranteed, their level of living does increase as their income does. There are countless events that could occur and reduce your revenue. Living within your means is essential because of this. Never, under any circumstances, spend more than 50% of your income. And if you are wealthy enough to inherit wealth, you should reinvest the vast bulk of it and never interfere with the principal. Say you received a million dollars as an inheritance. That billion bucks ought to be put to use. Therefore, any revenue that million generates by the end of the year is solely touchable. To allow the principal to increase faster than inflation, it is ideal to reinvest half of it. 
Number three, invest in cash flowing companies. Investors started to care less about cash flow and more about capital appreciation as tech companies grew. People are more interested in how far the stock will rise than in how much money Tesla will make at the end of the year. Earnings from the stock's increase are also quite good. But if you want to pass wealth down through generations, you need to have reliable revenue streams. Because you ultimately want money to keep coming in to support your opulent lifestyle. If your wealth is solely represented on paper, you are only wealthy in name. Although people may appreciate you for it, such wealth is not particularly useful. Due to this, tech entrepreneurs who have built successful tech companies frequently begin selling their shares in large quantities. Before the dot-com bubble, Bill Gates sold off the majority of his Microsoft stock and diversified his holdings into more reliable companies like Berkshire Hathaway. Only about 1% of Microsoft's whole portfolio is made. In order to purchase real estate all throughout the country and make other investments, Jeff Bezos has been selling Amazon shares worth billions of dollars. Since Uber is still loss-making, the founder long ago sold all of his stock in the business. What you need are organizations that can generate revenue at the end of the day. They don't have to be enormous ones. It might even be a nearby supermarket. Another excellent example is real estate. A fantastic way to make money is through rental houses. In fact, it's among the finest methods to build wealth for future generations. The industry, particularly in the last two years, not only had positive cash flow, but prices also increased by over 20%, which is exceptional for the sector. The industry is stable, which is most crucial. Even if you had bought a property in 2007 during the height of the housing bubble, it would have regained all of its value by 2013 in less than 6 years. Fourth, Create a trust Trusts are essentially independent entities to which you can transfer your assets. You can then name yourself as the trustee for the trust, who will oversee the management of the funds and provide instructions for how they should be handled in the event of your death or other unforeseen event. Because if you don't do that, the court will give your siblings a share of your assets. Because it could easily fall into the hands of those you don't even like, the enormous wealth you have amassed over the course of your life will be meaningless. To ensure that their wealth is transferred to the appropriate individuals who will continue to build it, all wealthy people set up trust funds. If you want to leave your children some wealth but are concerned that they might inherit it when they are still too young, you can easily insert a clause in your will that says your children can only access the wealth after reaching a particular age. If you pass away, the person you named when establishing the trust will take over management of your trust fund, which can be a professional who will oversee the trust. In return, we will receive 1% to 2% of the total annual wealth. A trust can be used to safeguard wealth from taxes or divorce in addition to transferring it to the next generation. Keep in mind that after you create a trust and shift your assets, they are no longer usable. Number 5. Mentality and Education Whatever you have accomplished over the course of your life can be gone in the blink of an eye. Such instances abound in the world, particularly among spoiled children who have no concept of personal finance. They don't value and respect money as much as the person who built it with his blood and sweat because they didn't work for it. Therefore, if you want your wealth to continue increasing, don't be afraid to invest in your children's education. Knowledge is important, but so is discipline. Children learn discipline throughout this time. Make yourself a good example of how to handle money and teach your children the importance of delaying gratification. These are but a few ideas for creating generational wealth. There are a lot more factors to think about, like finding the proper spouse, since your wealth could easily be lost in the event of a divorce with the wrong person. See the video description for our best videos to boost your finance knowledge. If you like this video, Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more entertaining animation videos. Thanks for watching.